Indian Young Technology Innovation Award. Mr. Dipur and Mr. Rajesh from IIT Kharagpur have submitted their proposal on utilization of marine algae as a substrate and as a methanogenic inhibitor in the microbial fuel cell. Basically, the research on microbial fuel cell uh, started gaining importance since 2000. A lot more papers have been published uh, till date on defining various aspects of the microbial fuel cell. Our research claim under this award is majorly focusing on enhancing methanogenesis, uh, uh, suppressing methanogenesis in the microbial fuel cell and enhancing electrogenesis. As one of the major, the, these two students have tried the effect of phytosaurus as a marine algae uh, to suppress the activity of methanogenesis in the ionic chamber of microbial fuel cell which has not been tried previously by any of the research. Basically, the microbial fuel cell consists of anodic chamber and a cathodic chamber. So, in anode, the substrate, that is the waste that we add, uh, is being supplied. And there the oxidation of organic matter occurs. During the oxidation process, the electrons and protons generated. The electrons reduce anode, and these are, uh, the electrons are transported through the external circuit towards cathode. And protons are migrated through the membrane which separates anodic and cathodic chamber. Additionally, nephion is the separator that is used in microbial fuel cell to separate anodic and cathodic chamber. The nephion is a costly polymeric membrane and that increases the cost of fabrication of microbial fuel cell. So here in this invention, the ceramic uh, membranes are being used. These ceramic membranes are available cheaper in India, which could act as a cation exchange membrane. So allowing cations to transfer from anodic chamber to cathodic chamber. Uh, and that makes it a cheaper replacement and reduces fabrication cost of microbial fuels. So, uh, during anodic oxidation, the protons uh, that will migrate from the separator towards cathode, electrons are migrating from uh, external circuit towards cathode. There they interact uh, and combine with oxygen to form H2. So, this is how the reaction is completed. And in the process, the organic matter is getting oxidized and electricity is harvested for on-site uses. The problem that is faced by the microbial fuel cell so far is uh, with the duration of operation, the methanogenesis dominates in the microbial fuel cell and that reduces the availability of electrons from the oxidation of the substrate. Typically, for the larger size MFC, the electron harvesting capability that we uh, count in terms of Coulombic efficiency, which means the Coulomb that is actually harvested from the system to the total Coulombs theoretically supplied to the system. So that Coulombic efficiency remains below 5% in most of the MFC uh, as per the literature report. So our objective here was to how to enhance this Coulombic efficiency by suppressing the uh, methanogenic activity that is bound to occur due to similar uh, substrate conditions and favorable environmental conditions in the anodic chamber. So uh, as, uh, one of the effort that we tried is uh, by supplying chytosaurus itself as a substrate or use of chytosaurus as a uh, inhibitor for methanogens and this is what we investigated in this research. So this is the uh, uh, dried powder of the uh, marine algae that we have used as a substrate in one of the microbial fuel cell and in one we use acetate as a substrate to replace uh, simple carbon source. The material used for uh, anode and cathode they are carbon fuel that is used as a uh, cathode material and uh, mixed anaerobic inoculum sludge is uh, mixed anaerobic sludge is used as inoculum uh, in the anodic chamber and no uh, bacterial culture is used in the cathodic chamber. So the results that we obtained they are encouraging. So the MFC fed with uh, catasaurus as a um, sole substrate demonstrated about 47% columbic efficiency and the MFC fed with acetate only as a substrate without any uh, pretreatment or any addition of the uh, marine algae demonstrated only about 17% Coulombic efficiency. So as compared to any of the MFC reported in the literature, the Coulombic efficiency that we observed is manifold and because of that we are able to harvest more power from the substrate that we are using. So this experiment tells us the efficacy of uh, using catasaurus and the ceramic separator for fabricating low cost MFC and uh, its ability to harvest more and more energy. Uh, so waste uh, treatment as well as simultaneous electricity harvesting can be achieved from adoption of this technology. So both the problem of waste management as well as energy supply could be achieved by implementing this technology. The other beauty of this research is 
although here in this investigation we try uh, supplying this marine algae itself as a substrate, but this substrate has this marine algae has ability to enhance columbic efficiency of the MFC, which is operated with uh, treating other wastewater. The other industrial effluents of sewage can be effectively treated, and even in that MFC, when we are dosing the, this marine algae of the tune of 10 mg per liter of the anodic chamber volume, the columbic efficiency more than 40% can be easily obtained. So as such, uh, this is the novelty of this uh, innovation that we are able to harvest electricity more than 40% whatever available in the basic substrate. So that is the contribution that we have made through this research. In future, uh, we require a scale-up study. So it is intended uh, to have a pilot uh, setup for this reactor. To treat, uh, typically that we target uh, in the uh, immediate near future that the sewage uh, sludge generated from the individual houses that uh, MFC uh, would be incorporated there in the septic tank, making it a bioelectric toilet. So that uh, technology implementation of this uh, device will make electricity available on site. So in the rural area or in the remote areas where electricity is not available for eliminating the toilet, so electricity uh, harvested in this form from the waste generated from the human being could be used for eliminating the toilet premises and the people will have access 24 hours to such toilets. So this is what we are targeting in the near future. Thank you.